Okay, this is Mr. Bloom, and I'm running through some uh, pretty regular questions that people have had on the Chapter 10. Um, so we're talking about the Chapter 10.2 homework quiz. Okay. Um, a couple of things you have to recognize is that you first thing you have to do is be able to recognize the shape you're working with. The shape we have is a trapezoid and know what formula goes with a trapezoid. The area of a trapezoid is one half the height times the at two bases added together. Okay. Now, I have the base lengths. I have got the one half. I've got one base is 10, that's eight plus two, and the other base is seven. I am missing a value, I'm missing my height. I'm missing this value. I've got to find that, and oh, I just made a right triangle. So I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem to help me find that missing piece. So now I've got A, which is 2, plus B, which is H, and C, which is 6 squared. Now I've got 4 plus H squared, which equals 36, and H squared is equal to 32. I take the square root of both sides, and I find out the square root of 32 is my height. And that is the value that was missing. I now take my calculator and I have 17 times the square root of 32. 17 times the square root of 32. And I divide that value by 2 or multiply by a half. And I get 48.08, 48.083, but my answer is supposed to be the nearest tenth, so it's 48.08. One and my units is inches squared. So that's the area of my first piece. Okay, let's look at the next one. Now, this next one has us recall stuff from chapter 8. In chapter 8, we learned about 30, 60, 90 triangles and 45, 45, 90 triangles. Uh, this one looks more 45, 45 ish, so you know, um, I'm going to remind you of that. This is x, x, and x to the square root of 2. And that's a 45, 45, 90. But then we also have a 30, 60, 90. May not be drawn to scale, but we're trying. Now, when I did that, I made a right triangle. And what I'm trying to do is show you that I have a right triangle there. Since this is 8, and remember, um, my 30, 60, 90 triangle has a pattern. Okay, that's supposed to be a 3. Um, 2x, x, and x to the square root of 3. Now, I, I drew all this the same way, so you can see my orientation and recall that. And now, this is my short side, half of 8 is 4. And then my longer leg, which happens to be the height of this trapezoid, is for the square root of 3. Now, we're going to change some color here. And we're going to look at the remainder part of my trapezoid. I know I was provided this as 15. So 4 and 15, their difference is 11. And then this other side is 11. So right now, I have all the dimensions I need. I have my bases, excuse me, I have my bases, okay, my area is equal to one half uh, times my height and my two bases. Now, one half, my height we found is for the square root of three. Both bases added together, 15 and 11 is 26. So now I've got 13 times 4, the square root of 3, that's 26 divided by 2, and I'm going to put that in my calculator. I'm asked to find the um, answer in simplest radical form. That means I do not multiply that square root of 3 out, and I have my answer as 52, the square root of 3, feet squared. So the area of this is 52, the square root of 3, feet squared. Now, if I was typing this in, I'd use the Option V key. My Option V gives me that shape 
and then I put my three behind it if I'm putting it in the answer in a quiz. So keep that in mind. And we showed that, I believe, in the actual notes. So you got to make sure you're actually doing the notes. I have a lot of people who are kind of doing something, but they're not really following up with notes, so they're having more difficulty than they should. Let's look at our last problem here. Our last one is talking about rhombus. Now, this is a recall from Chapter 6, um, first semester. A rhombus, all the sides are the same, and all the, the um, diagonals are angled bisectors of each other. And so a rhombus has all the properties of a parallelogram. And the reason why I recall that is because when we do this, when I see this 45-45, people got a little scared. And it's like, well, he showed us that pattern. And it's like, yep, I did. But I'm going to use the fact that this is a rhombus to get everything going. Because if this side of it is 45, so is this 45. And 45 and 45 is 90 degrees. That's a right angle. Because this is a parallelogram, this and it's parallelogram opposite sides of the same measure, and consecutive sides are supplementary. So this rhombus happens to be a square. And because the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other, excuse me, we're going to clean this up a little bit so I can show what's going on. So we know that this rhombus is a square. So this is not just a rhombus, but it's a square because of the properties that we have. Well. I know that a square has all the properties of a rectangle and the diagonals are the same length. So if half of the same length, all of them are congruent. So right now, I know the lengths of these diagonals are all four. Okay, so that means my diagonal one is eight and my diagonal two is also eight. So well, the area of this rhombus slash square that we really have is here. So this is 1 half, 8 times 8, which is 32 meters squared. Okay, and that's my area, and I'm done. But if I didn't notice that right off the bat, and I remembered my 45, 45, 90 stuff, because, you know, the, the uh, diagonal of a rhombus bisects the angle it goes to, so these are the same. And therefore, I know that if... If it's a 45, 45, this is 4, this is 4, okay? This is also 4 to the square root of 2, okay? So I know that this is 4. I also know that this is 4, and this is 4. So again, I can find the diagonals are all 8 the same way. But I could, and the reason why I did this, and I want to make sure you see that I'm doing a different problem. I'm going to use a different color. Um, this length is 4 to the square root of 2. Well, it's a square. The area of a squared is, we're going to use x squared because it's a side length squared. And if I have 4 the square root of 2 squared, that is um, 16 times 2, which is just 32 meters squared. So that's another way of me finding my answer. I hope these are helping. Um, if you have questions, keep in mind we have geometry office hours from 10 to 11 each day. Um, be ready for your chapter uh 10A test, all your material in your folder must be complete for you to access your test because it's connected to your completion. I hope things are going well. Have yourself a wonderful day. And remember, I'm Mr. Bloom, and you're not.